my test tube. I'm going to first melt the potassium chlorate. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pull the sash down. Go ahead and start melting this. And after it's melting, um, or after it's melted, then we're going to add the gummy bear. And with this higher temperature, it will actually give the reacting molecules enough energy to get over the activation energy barrier. So remember, for every reaction, we do have an activation energy. So even though the reaction is predicted to be spontaneous, the reacting molecules still have to have enough energy to form a transition state. So we're almost there. I think we're good. So, if you guys want to come in so that you can see this, I'm going to turn the light out. Hopefully there's enough light for me to see. Okay. Did anyone catch the color of the light? It's purple. Kind of purple. Any ideas why it was purple? Because it was a red gummy bear? <laughs> well, uh, no, it actually wasn't the gummy bear. It was the potassium, okay, the potassium chlorate. So remember, the potassium in a flame gives a kind of a lavender colored um, flame. Well, that's what you were saying here. Okay. All right, any, any questions?